Welcome. Your presence here is no coincidence. It marks the beginning of a meaningful connection designed to deliver a powerful message from Apostle Joshua Selman right to your doorstep. This message carries the potential to not only bless you, but also ignite inspiration for greatness within you. Open your heart wide and allow your mind to embrace the profound in before we dive deeper. I warmly invite you to actively participate in this significant moment. That everything that does not work and it continues and remains so, they are powered by altars. It's time to deal with it. Is someone ready tonight? The first thing we are going to do right now, please listen, no distraction. Please, don't allow the devil distract you. We are working with time. In the next two or three minutes, you are going to cry. A, we are going to do a corporate prayer of repentance before God. Don't be too proud, oh. You are going to cry before the God of it. You don't have to lie down or whatever. Whatever position is comfortable. Not as an act of condemnation. Genuinely before the God of heaven. And say, Lord, I am standing in repentance. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways some of you need to pray on behalf of your children on behalf of your husband on behalf of your wife lord i take the responsibility of priesthood there are men of god who need to stand on behalf of their congregations there are business ceos that need to stand on behalf of their corporations lord we plead mercy over every altar of sin and iniquity that is empowering every other negative altar death delays retrogression stagnation please pray god is giving you a chance shabalakatos those following from your homes following by way of television or internet when a moment of deep brokenness and repentance a broken and a contrite heart oh god thou will not despise mercy oh god mercy oh god give me psalm 51 while you are praying i'm going to be reading for you psalm 51 please give us psalm 51 while we pray have mercy on me oh god according to thy loving kindness according to the multitude of thy tender mercies blot out my transgression verse 2 please hurry up wash me thoroughly from my iniquity cleanse me from my sin for i acknowledge my transgression my sin is ever before me against thee thee only have i sinned and done this evil in your sight verse 4 that thou mightest be justified please give us verse 4 we're not done when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest verse 5 behold I was shaped in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me behold thou desirest truth in the inward parts and in the hidden parts shalt thou make me to know wisdom uh-huh Purge me with high soap and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out my iniquities. Verse 10. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Verse 12. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. And behold me with a, and uphold me with a free spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways. And sinners shall be converted to thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God. Thou God of my salvation. 
and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness oh lord open thou my lips and my mouth shall speak forth your praise for thou desirest not sacrifice else i would have given it thou desirest not in bond offering thou delightest not in bond offering the sacrifices of god are a broken spirit and a contrite heart O god thou shalt not despise next verse do good in thy good pleasure unto zion build thou the walls of jerusalem someone is praying then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness with bond offerings and whole bond offerings then shall they offer bullocks upon thy altar lift your voice in one minute you are praying for yourself pray for your organization lord i found out the reason behind these consistent plagues consistent pain consistent delay consistent retrogression consistent failure consistent sickness Shabrende geba lakatos koto brende leka bariata. Shaga de bas mercy, mercy. In the name of Jesus, mercy. We come boldly to the throne of grace. We obtain mercy and we find grace to help in time of need. Mercy for Nigeria, mercy for our regions, mercy for Koinonia mercy for every family here mercy for every business mercy for every captain of industry every politician every head of parliament every professional mercy for our children mercy for those who have gone ahead of us in the name of jesus Prayer point number two, as for me and my house, Lord, I agree with you this day that I will serve the Lord. No other name, no other God, no other force, no other influence. Someone is praying. Please pray. Whether you come from Lagos, whether you come from Plateau State, from Kaduna State, from Maiduguri, from Enugu, Anambra, Cross River, Port Harcourt, it does not matter whether you are from the F City. Lord, as for me, and my house i dissociate myself from the ordinances of idols someone is praying i dissociate myself from the worship of deities fraternities with gods that are not the true god i declare that as for me and my family i worship the one true god jesus the son of the living god it doesn't matter what shrine you went to it doesn't matter what the fathers did lord we pray as a nation lord we pray as a region as for me and my house as for me and this ministry someone pray as for me and my children pray as for me and my wife as for me and my husband as for me and my corporation outside make sure you are praying all the overflows as for me and my house we will live for jesus we will serve the lord pastors pray as for me and the vision god has given me no consulting mediums no consulting powers no consulting shrines it is jesus only jesus ever jesus only 
Jesus ever as the source of power, as the source of revelation, as the source of illumination. No bribery, no corruption. Pastors pray, no manipulating members, sincerity of truth, loving them and serving them. In the name of Jesus. Now, don't be tired. We are still praying. Right now, on legal basis, you are going to pray and declare that every altar that he that told has had any legal grounds on your life, the blood is against it. He said, we overcame them by the blood of the Lamb. Someone open your mouth and begin to decree. In the name of Jesus, the blood of the everlasting covenant is against altars of untimely death pray you know what alters by the patterns in your life call it by name and curse it by the god of heaven operations of poverty operations of failure at the edge of breakthrough visitations of wicked spirits molesting you that everything you do seems to fail Pray. Pray. Untimely death. You come to an end over my life. Failure. You come to an end over my life. Disfavor. Shame and reproach. The blood is against you. Whoever and whatever gave you legal access. I come by the backing of the throne of grace. I come by the backing of the throne of grace. I come by the backing of the throne of grace. Someone pray. A new order is imagined from you tonight. Your children will thank you. Your children's children will thank you. They will say, at what point did this transformation start? And you will tell them, when I found the revelation of the mystery of altars. Someone prophesy. My father may have died early. My mother may have died early, but I will not die early. I will not die on timely death. In the name of Jesus, I am crushing that altar by the power of the blood of Jesus. Pray. Graduate from the families. No job, no lifting. Pray. People don't get married or they get married and the home zone stay barrenness repetitive patterns failures in business someone pray the operation of these altars come to an end from lagos to abuja to maiduguri to kaduna state to rivers to cross river to kogi state I don't care how long they have lasted. Lord, we pray. Someone pray. Enough is enough. In the name of Jesus. Someone pray. Enough is enough enough is enough we are bringing a new order pray for your family enough is enough 
enough is enough of children becoming useless enough is enough of people never finishing what they start enough is enough in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus please listen to me in the name of Jesus when I started ministry and I discovered that not many people from my region had had the privilege to rise to a global level and to stay and to last sustainably in ministry I said minus me but I knew that it would not just be empty talk you see let me tell you something about altars they don't care whether you are a pastor they don't care whether you are whatever once there is no compliance you can stand and be making a lot of noise and yet nothing will happen I made up my mind that I will serve the purposes of God at a global level and that anything that pegs people from my region and keeps them at a particular level that it will be my lifetime I will rewrite that narrative you're going to pray one more prayer before I speak over it. please don't be tired you came here tonight to deal with these things once and for all you are going to pray my destiny and my glory I connect you to the throne of grace go ahead and pray my destiny and my glory you are connected to that altar called the throne of grace my destiny and my glory you are not connected to ancestry my destiny and my glory you are not connected to wizardry and human manipulation my destiny and my glory you are not connected to earthly and platforms you are connected to the throne of grace someone pray my destiny my glory pray for your ministry my business your influence the workings of the spirit in your life connected to the throne of grace backed up by the king of kings himself backed up by the blood of the eternal covenant the meaning of that is no enchantment and no divination no enchantment no activities of wizardry necromancy the wasters of destiny they have no access to your life again connected to the altar Please pray, you are not wasting your time. Connect your business. By faith in the Son of the Living God. Not as a blind ritual. No. Let it be known in the realm of the Spirit that from this day forward, I am no longer connected to ancestry. Someone is praying let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward i am not connected to the limitations of bloodline let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward connected to the throne of grace Let it be known to principalities and powers. Let it be known to thrones and dominions that there is a switch of loyalty. Let it be known to principalities and powers that there is a switch of loyalty from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of God's dear son. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hear me, my dear people. 
everyone is destined by Christ to rise there is nobody who is destined to remain down please place your right hand on your head prophetically young in the name of Jesus we are still praying please don't be distracted I stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic any system of authorization whether as a result of personal sin whether as a result of territorial sin or foundations and bloodline by the mercy of God I decree and declare their legal hold over you is hereby broken hereby broken therefore every negative pattern every frequent occurrence that is inconsistent with that which the word of god says should be in the name that is above all names i bring to end those patterns now i bring to end those patterns now patterns of untimely death patterns of perversions patterns of delay patterns of limitation be broken now patterns of poverty and begging and hardship be broken now patterns of mediocrity and inferiority be broken in the name of Jesus hear me where you have not risen to before by reason of these limitations I stand by the power of the Holy Ghost rise to that level rise to that level in career rise to that level hear me if there is anyone here whose destiny is not opened and is not speaking you love God you are sincere but your life is grounded and that's what you have seen happen to other people in the name of Jesus I decree and declare like a little flower opens up and begins to bud I command your destiny to open up open up financially open up hallelujah now in the name of Jesus if there is any priesthood servicing any altar against you whether by reason of where you come from that means there are human beings alive who continue to fuel those altars Manikesh Shabarata in the name of Jesus I bring to an end the reign of such priesthoods their enchantments will no longer work like the prophets of Baal they will not receive any answers again we shut the realm of the spirit against them we shut the power of the Sun against them we shut the power of the wind against them we shut the power of the earth against them in the name of Jesus every medium of expression ceases to work for them if there is anyone here having any infirmity in your body that has defied medical attention and you know that this is a direct result of witchcraft right now in the name of Jesus that sickness leaves your body now help them please that sickness leaves your body now high blood pressure diabetes hepatitis in Aparish Kotebata, it leaves your body now. Lumps and growths in your body, demonic things that have defied. Some of you have had surgeries again and again, and it will not go. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. Hear me. 
every experience of seeing dead people come to harass you my bible says that the living and the dead have nothing in common there are times you may have encounters with the spirits of just men made perfect but that does not bring oppression in the name of jesus the system that authorizes familiar spirits to use the faces of men and oppress you and plant all kinds of things in your body and your destiny it is broken now it is broken now father i stand by the privilege of priesthood first over our global family and then the body of christ by the privilege of the election of grace please help those under the anointing i have declared your word and lord i know that this works based on the integrity of your word lord we have cried in repentance before you individually territorially and even as touching bloodlines and foundations we have committed ourselves to serve only you the one true god father your people and all of us together are about to lay down sacrifices some in cash some in kind in whatever means lord you are not a scammer you are not a fraudster we men of god may have made merchandise out of these principles and we repent for it but lord we cry in the name of jesus and i pray by the privilege of spiritual leadership and priesthood that everyone under the sound of my voice may fire fall upon your sacrifice may fire fall upon your sacrifice may fire fall upon your sacrifice let every demonic spirit witness your sacrifice and witness the fire that falls upon it in the name of jesus christ for everything you are connecting to this sacrifice mani shala skebarato ziata whether as individuals as a couple as a business in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i decree and declare may the heavens be open over that issue in the name of jesus everything that has refused to walk in your life i command it to begin to walk now by reason of your sacrifice i make this prophetic declaration all doors open all doors open all doors open i stand upon the grace of our fathers in this nation as i have received by grace and by the privilege of the mercy of god i stand upon their personal altars with god and we stand in agreement under that grace i decree and declare in the name of jesus judgment upon every wickedness judgment upon everything connected to ancestry by your sacrifice in the name of jesus christ hear me anyone here appointed to death i decree and declare when death comes let it meet your sacrifice when limitation comes let it meet your sacrifice when failure comes let it meet your sacrifice it would never be that you gave and went down please hear me i decree and declare for every one child who has gone wayward who is giving any parent headache or tears by reason of your sacrifice may the angel of the lord fish them back to the cross from america to europe to nigeria everyone who is lost every spouse who is not saved every child who is not saved every woman everyone connected to any family that is yet to encounter jesus they will not die till they have found jesus
hallelujah now please hear me if there is anything that you may have done personally with your own life that has created an accusation in the realm of the spirit that the devil might want to use against you and your children's children in the name of jesus by the blood of the lamb the word of your testimony and even this sacrifice let it be blotted out now let it be blotted out now let it be blotted out now finally i pray for you you have taken from your resources you have taken from whatever to give on to god i decree and declare the storehouses are portioned for you that have been blocked by all kinds of demonic hindrances i declare them open like a flood now open like a flood now may strangers arise and come to you you will not beg you will not borrow in the name of jesus christ hear me for some of you by reason of this program tonight you will start having very strange angelic encounters by reason of this meeting tonight there is a restoration of dreams a restoration of visions a restoration of encounters please hear me if there is any physical planting in any house any village whatever was taken whether your name was taken to any shrine or whatever in the name of jesus christ we declare that devil catches fire now whether you are asleep whether you are awake anybody that tries to build any altar to fight you i stand prophetically they will go down instantly and anybody who has vowed that for as long as i am alive this family will not rise this family will not know peace in the name of jesus i declare the righteous judge by the power that raised christ from the dead he will silence such devils in jesus name hallelujah in one minute i'd like you to wave your hands and begin to thank the lord thank you jesus please hear me from tonight i want you to carry a mentality not just the mentality of your earthly origin when you hear them say there are powers that are going to fight and destroy people remember don't just remember koinonia remember the throne of grace that it is the altar that defends you when someone looks at you and crosses himself and stamps the ground you don't need to waste your time he's not fighting you he's fighting the throne in the name of jesus christ it's time to pray against the forces that sit on the destinies of men do not forbear with evil every time you forbear with evil it multiplies every time you forbear with evil it multiplies i want to pray for you right now for those in front here i declare and declare supernatural impartations that this anointing that has come upon you you will put it to good use for the glory of the name of jesus and everything that represents the attribute of the flesh let it be cut away right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the name of the lord if they can once they are fine they can return to their seat so that they clear the space for others now hear me the bible says upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the sons of jacob will possess their possessions we believe and we teach the whole counsel of god including his desire to see his people free from every demonical influence that will not allow them serve god acceptably and it is based on this that i want to pray please listen to me there are all kinds of oppressions and oppressions are at, at different levels when the devil oppresses you, it does not negate the fact that you are a Christian. This is why he gave gifts. Paul was buffeted again and again. Are we together now?
David was a man who had an evil spirit come, I mean Saul, an evil spirit come to torment him. Now I want to pray because there are people whose lives and destinies have been trapped. To rise up, they cannot rise up. To go forward, they cannot go forward. There are families that have been marking time. You know you are oppressed when the only thing growing in your life is your age. If the only thing growing is your age, nothing else growing. It's an oppression. I want to pray for you now. Hallelujah. God is giving me a very interesting instruction. Please hold on guys. Hallelujah. You see, when you are ministering, one of the things that we must learn is that you must discern the voice of God. Even while we minister, he's Lord over what we are doing. Hallelujah. In a very strange way, the Lord is asking me that we should just be silent and there are people who are oppressed. I'll ask them to resume. But right now, while we are standing here, the Lord, I'm going to speak Genesis 1, 2 to 4. And the moment I begin to pray, if for any reason there is someone under the sound of my voice who either personally or whose family has been under the influence of strange and wicked spirits, the moment I begin to pray, that fire from heaven will bring not only visitation but a separation. Now I want to pray. Listen to me. Here is the instruction God is giving me. There are two people who are going to shout loud under the anointing to the hearing of everybody. Now I can pray. I want you to bring them out. Father, I decree and declare everyone who is under the influence of any spirit other than the Christ, right now I decree and declare from the front to the back, from the left to the right, Makata Skatete Bakata. This is your season of liberty. Help them. Just help them so they don't injure themselves. Whether you are an usher or not, just help them and guide them forward. I really apologize, Pastor, having to bring people. Quickly, please bring them forward. Right now, I declare, at the count of three, the Lord is going to begin to minister deliverance and those yokes will start breaking. Please help them whether you are an usher or not. One. Two. Three. I decree and declare, be free now. Be free now. Be free now. The power of God is setting you free. Please bring them out, my goodness. Help them. Shakatokate Badakata. Yokes of darkness. Yokes of delay. All kinds of ordinances of darkness. Tying down destinies. In the name of Jesus, be free. 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 Bring them out. Enough is enough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm seeing people's feet tied so that they don't move forward. But fire is coming right now. Everything that has tied your advancement. I decree and declare, let that chain be broken now. Let that chain be broken now. Go forward in the name of Jesus. Go forward in the name of Jesus. Go forward in the name of Jesus. There are some of you, even though you are in November, before the end of this year, everything God said he would give you, from January till November, within one month, I'm speaking it prophetically, it comes into your life. There are ministries here, you have experienced stagnation in different levels. You are sincere, you love the Lord, but it looks like an attack just came over your ministry. An attempt to frustrate the work. Right now I stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic. Every embargo sitting on any work here that should glorify Jesus. I declare that embargo lifted now.
I'm seeing the number 25. And I'm seeing veils covering the eyes of the faces of those people. You see, when the favor of God is upon you, in the realm of the spirit, it shines your face. As said from scripture, everything that covers your face is hindering favor from your life. And based on the integrity of scripture, I don't know where they are. But if there is anybody here... You once walked in a realm of favor, but now everybody forgets you. Every good person who can be there to be used by God to help you. You are connected to people who can be used by God. And yet you don't find them at times of help. I decree and declare, in the name of Jesus, may that veil be torn into pieces. Hear me. One of the graces that is upon this house, house on the rock especially, is the grace for influence. And there are many of you who are connected to this house, and yet that grace has not spoken over your life. I want to lend my voice with your pastor to release that grace afresh. You should not be doing something and you are hidden. It is called a house on a rock. Not a house inside a hole. No. No. Everything that has failed to find visibility in your life, please believe it. Whether it is your ministry, your work with God, your business, I decree and declare that by reason of this conference and in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God, I declare right now, find visibility. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let me pray for the sick. Please lay your hands right now. All those who are in front, I declare that every spirit that has oppressed you and would not let you go, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I speak as one sent. In the name of Jesus, let them go now. At the count of three, release their destinies never to return. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Out of their destinies. Out of their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Release their destinies right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Release them now. Release them now. Please lay your hands. I want to pray for the sick. As we worship in your presence. There is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch. Is flowing, Jesus. I Madam, this woman, lay your hands on your stomach. I'm seeing the power of God touch you. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands right now. Let the life of Jesus be ministered to your body right now. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. Be healed completely in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. I have been a victim of oppression in the area of sickness. I know what it means to receive a miracle. You see, let me tell you why the healing ministry is very important. According to the law of territory, if you do not sustain a healthy body, you are not authorized to function in this realm. Are we together now? So, you need, there is a requisite level of health that allows your spirit to coexist with your body. If your body is deteriorated beyond a certain threshold, the spirit will have to leave. Are we together now? So, every manifestation of sickness is an administration of death in process. This is why the healing ministry is powerful. It's not just about showing that a man of God is powerful. No. He sent them two by two. And he gave them a commission. He said, as you go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick. Cast out devils. Raise the dead. Freely you have received. He says, freely give. Lay your hands now. Believe Jesus. All those tumors, all those growths, don't forget about it. You just focus on Jesus. I want to pray. You are the house that is on a city. The rock that cannot be hidden. 
let me pray for this man Andrew what do you do sir public servant I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray by the power that raised Christ from the dead that everything that represents what's the issue why is he crying please find out just someone politely find out from him your father has cancer just, just take, it's okay it's okay just take it easy just take it easy you don't have to cry you're welcome that's why you came here we're going to pray he's crying because his father is a pastor and he has cancer very touching isn't it let me define compassion for you one of the principles of the flow of the anointing God will grant us another time to be able to teach on it is that you must sustain compassion compassion is the ability to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity you have to be touched that is why many times in your training process you will often taste the things you would set people free from so that it emotionally connects you to that anointing that every time you see people in that pain you remember you, you can draw from the archives pain is a gift not all pains are demonic you cannot serve God acceptably until there is historically it may not necessarily be God causing it but he's a master at using everything around your life to become a tool to build you do not throw away your pain your pain is a gift that will become a gateway for the anointing to flow in your life there is a level of innocence that does not allow the anointing flow when you have gone through pain you will know what it means to administer to those in pain if everyone's face were covered in heaven you will still know who jesus is because he's the only one that carries the nails you would think because he's seated at the right hand everything should heal it remains there as a testament that he is savior the one who died for our sins not even in heaven at the hands everyone who has genuinely had an encounter with jesus they will tell you you will know he's jesus not just because the name is written on him what you will see that sacrifice remains a memorial forever i want to pray andrew god bless you what do you do sir what now is the turn to a company about to be the refinery a final a refinery do you believe if i pray for you god can lift you you believe that there is a prophetic dimension to anything it does not it does not create it is not a license for laziness now this is the balance because many people in the body of christ sometimes may not be diligent they are just waiting for the prophetic to do everything the prophetic comes and at, as an advantage it is activated at the instance of diligence are we together now diligence is the platform that makes the prophetic efficient so i want to pray for you please hold my hand stand up father you have anointed us to bless i release this grace upon this gentleman walk wonders through him right now by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus christ please come sir in the name of jesus i pray for you may the lord help you and show you mercy in jesus name i pray now please lay your hands let me pray for the sick like this my dear brother who is crying over his father you can stand in for him my friend don't worry don't feel stupid for crying I know that it's coming from a sincere heart many of you have lost loved ones and you know the pain let me tell you this sometimes when you see people like this i thank god for this ministry because it's a ministry that is excellent and yet flexible enough to be able to attend to needs like this like him believe god for a miracle shall we pray i decree and declare right now that the healing power of Jesus now please listen here's what I want you to do I want to pray for you we'll do this in about a minute or two and some of you even whilst you came forward miracles were already happening I sense a very strong anointing you don't have to bring anyone under the anointing just help them 
when I pray for you, I want you to believe and shout a resounding amen. And then immediately, I want you to check yourself. I want us to shame the devil in this house. Check yourself the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, whether you are inside or outside, even following online. Here's what I want you to do very quickly. I want you to make your way when I ask you to to come to either of the aisles here or here and even if it's just two or three testimonies we take to confirm the things that God is doing in the midst of his people is that all right now believe Jesus for a miracle and all of you who are watching from your homes you're watching anywhere and everywhere I want you to release your faith from every nation from Europe to US Africa here in Nigeria believe Jesus for a miracle right now in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke the spirit that is back of every infirmity here represented and in the name that is above all names I decree and declare right now from the crown of your head my God such an anointing is flowing to the soles of your feet be healed now be healed now I administer the power of God to your body I command every growth dissolve now every swelling go down now every tumor disappear now migraine headaches be healed in Jesus name ulcers of all sorts be healed in Jesus name every blood condition I decree and declare be healed in Jesus name HIV be healed in Jesus name cancer be healed in Jesus name any and all bone conditions be healed in Jesus name if you are here on crutches you are here on a wheelchair I declare be healed in Jesus name every blind eye whether partially or completely blind be opened in the name of Jesus every deaf ear be open in the name of Jesus pain lower abdominal pain the power of God is healing you right now in the name of Jesus there's something called tonsillitis there's someone you've been suffering this it comes and goes it comes and goes very inconveniencing right now as i'm praying for you the power of god is touching you in the name of jesus christ pile painful pile i decree and declare be healed now there's someone you have this inconveniencing pain under your foot just under very painful when you stand sometimes you have to break and check yourself i decree and declare be healed right now in jesus name it started for you like muzzle pull what we call what we know to be muzzle pull you know that that strain on on your 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 your, your lap area here but now it's, it seems it's degenerated to something very very painful and serious affecting your work but in the name of Jesus, I declare right now, be healed in Jesus name. Be healed in Jesus name. Now, whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, here at Activate Conference 2021, I bring you the life and the healing power of Jesus. And for those of you who are standing in for your loved ones, like this, my brother here, I decree and declare wherever they are across this nation and around the globe may the angel of God's presence go with the healing power of Jesus to them in the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus Christ be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be cleansed in Jesus name my faith with Pastor Larry and in the name of Jesus Christ, first over house on the rock, Port Harcourt, extending to the body of Christ within this region, I decree and declare that by the administration of the power of God, 
everything dying or dead in your life I declare it comes back to life now number two every door that should open to the next level of your influence and your kingdom relevance that has been closed hitherto help her please I decree and declare in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God we open that door now number three any man anointed and ordained in this season to hold your hands as a destiny helper and guide you whether spiritually whether financially and otherwise in the name that is above all names I activate their ministry over your life now number four I want to prophesy thing that has left your life that should not have left I stand by the voice of prophecy I call it back to your life I call it back to your destiny relationships opportunities open doors dimensions in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your prayer life Whatever is threatening your relationship with God, whatever is threatening your appetite for spiritual things, your passion for prayer, your passion for the study of the word, your passion for the house of God, I declare that limitation gets out of your life now. Fresh passion for the things of God. Fresh passion for prayer. Fresh passion for the study of the word. Fresh passion for the house of God. In the name of Jesus and let me speak over your life that when men say that there is a casting down as from tonight for you let it be declared that it is a lifting up in the name of Jesus Christ and finally I pray for you because you have believed in the Lord and you have believed in this vessel because you have believed in Jesus and you have also believed in the grace upon your pastor hear me every dimension of power you came here trusting God for power against darkness power to rise above the vicissitudes of life I decree and declare let the impartation of that power from heaven rest upon your life now rest upon your destiny now rest upon your ministry now rest upon your endeavors now rest upon your business now rest upon your children now in the name of jesus christ finally everything that has refused to grow in your life because we were taught that one major characteristic of living things is that they grow whatever is alive should grow whatever has stopped growing in your life in the name of Jesus, I command and I prophesy, be it your finances, be it your spiritual life, I declare, grow now. Grow now. In the mighty and even the marvelous name of Jesus. I have seen evil that is under the sun. One time I was praying. I was in a prayer and fasting program. The first time I would encounter a spirit. No, I was not fasting then. I was just praying. And behind the place where there used to be a generator, I turned there and I saw a spirit. And he said, get back. That's what he told me. And the next thing I just started praying in tongues. What is this? Roaming around the earth. The second time I was praying and I remember very clearly my 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 roof just disappeared my ceiling and here i'm seeing this spirit that looks like a dinosaur giant eyes looking like human eyes as big as a human head one of the eyeballs and it had a tail the tail had its own life you could detach it fuming with anger and he looked at me and said so you can you want to bring God's people you think you can bring God's people into abundance and that was the end of it after that encounter it was that the gates oh listen 
may may cause be upon me if i'm lying to you and i'm here to manipulate and deceive you i love you too much to waste your time let me tell you the truth before you think i'm wasting your time i want you to look at your life with sincerity and truth and you will know that you need this it's time to really take dominion if you are a man of God here or the call of God is upon your life please hear me because we are the ones who are most under attack in this season by reason of these altars and the patterns they create just answering the call and being anointed is not enough you don't know this your life and your relevance will be cut short in a way you will not be able to explain but one of the things I'm hoping today and next week will deal with I'm saying it again is the origin of mysterious infirmities blood conditions whatever it is genotype conditions please make sure you invite everybody you love it's time to walk in victory otherwise we'll keep quoting scripture and jumping up and down and our lives will not capture this can i tell you this hear me i made a vow and a covenant with god i said lord whatever it is that comes from my bloodline and my family i obtain grace even if it's for me to be the sacrifice that i will fight it with my life taking advantage of the victory that is in christ so that everyone that comes from me will enjoy that liberty someone may need to make that commitment and say lord my sincere parents my loved ones may have failed because they did not have knowledge but will you use me as that priest let me be that mediator between the old and the new someone rise up in one minute and begin to pray from the depth of your heart Someone pray. Please pray. Please pray. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away Till there's no fear Let every other name fade away Let every other name fade away Jesus, take your name hear me I have prayed for a family where all of them mysteriously HIV just manifested in their lives like that like from father to children there was no history of that demonic thing but everybody like that I know people who are healthy and sound and fine about to get married they went to do blood tests and they suddenly found out that one person is hiv and the person said i can't there is no way this would have come medically certified when everything scatters they go back and check and you find out they are perfectly sound i like you to pray and say in the name of jesus christ say it say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that no power will contend with my authority i am a spirit with a mortal body i am a spirit that submits to the authority of jesus open your mouth and begin to declare i have dominion in the name of jesus over the realm of the air 
the realm of the sea. Someone is praying. Shabagata barate kete balaka tosho brondos ekrete ke barato sodo brende kete belake dia shakete braska de balaka ta embraka ta baraka tosho degete pray something is happening pray something is happening he bate ka baraka toshke dia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I take my rightful place on earth as God's steward. And I declare, Holy Spirit, I am in partnership with you. Every good thing that must manifest from heaven to my life I declare let it be so now lift your voice and begin to pray I take my place I take my place every good and perfect gift assigned by God to find expression in my life in this season I declare I take my rightful place as God's steward on earth Shabagada bagade bakata brande gade bala sosia e prakatosh ko do brande gade bale kata shabrande gade baruskiata Hallelujah Hallelujah Say in the name of Jesus every system of authorization working against my life my family my destiny by the blood of the eternal covenant be silenced now open your mouth and pray be silenced be silenced be silenced shake it up katabalakatosh embrekete kataparos kotopa be silenced in the name of jesus systems of authorization fighting your influence fighting your destiny hallelujah hallelujah now hear me this prayer you are about to pray many miracles are going to come out of it say in the name of jesus i declare that this body is the temple of the holy spirit Therefore, every sickness and infirmity in this body programmed to waste my life, I command, depart now. Open your mouth and pray. Depart. Fibroids. Depart. High blood pressure. Depart. Cancer. Depart. Someone pray. Tumors, growths, depart. Belakatosh Kadila Pariata. Blood conditions, depart. Shagata Bagata Bagatos Kate. Embrete Kabaruso Segate Balatos. hallelujah in the name of jesus say in the name of jesus i declare from today that i have a covenant of longevity my body will never separate from my spirit until my time is done every premature separation either by accident, by sickness, by the activity of wicked people, I curse it right now. 
go ahead and pray no premature separation coming in the form of accidents hallelujah in the name of jesus please don't be distracted jeremiah 22 29 please give it to us quickly jeremiah 22 verse 29 it says O earth 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 hear ye O earth 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 it says hear ye the word of the lord the earth is a universal point of contact the bible says as for the earth out of it comes bread it says the profit of the earth is for all and even the king is fed by that which comes from the earth i'd like you to pray say in the name of jesus my portion given to me by god i decree and declare through the ministry of man let it gravitate towards my destiny open your mouth and pray god is a god of portions god is a god of portions pray god is a god of portions hallelujah say in the name of Jesus every negative inheritance that has been transferred to me by those who were before me I decree and declare by the blood of the lamb I reject it right now I reject it go ahead and pray every negative inheritance inheritance that has come as untimely death negative things closed doors i reject it someone pray i reject it i reject it i reject it in the name of jesus i reject it Shabagada Barakos, Abrakatos Kateba Lakatash. hallelujah listen the implication of having dominion over the realm of the air the realm of water the realm of earth is that no element that comes from these sources should work against you are you getting what i'm saying now 
Judges, I, I, I was quickly trying to look for the scripture. Judges chapter 5. I hope I get it right. Let's look at 19 and 20. This was Deborah and Sisera. Judges 5. The kings came and fought. I hope I got. Then fought the kings of Canaan in Tanakh by the waters of Megiddo. And they took no gain of money. Verse 20. Yes. It says they fought from heaven. The stars in their courses fought against Sisera. Can I tell you? The elements of nature can hearken to the voice of those who know their God and can stand in partnership. Hold on. That means if someone goes to use the earth against me or pronunciations that go through the wind or water, provided is one of these elements. Did the Bible not say the sun shall not smite you by day nor the moon by night? Say in the name of Jesus, I speak to the elements of creation. Hear the word of the Lord. Walk in partnership with the Holy Spirit and the word of God for my favor, for my destiny, not against me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. The elements of the supernatural. I decree and declare the sun shall not smite me by day. The moon shall not smite me by night the scourging tongues of men shall not catch up with me i have dominion over the air dominion over the sea dominion over the earth pray hallelujah hallelujah don't be tired Genesis 1 from verse 20 I want to show you something about the mystery of this water you see are you ready and God said let the waters do what bring forth abundantly so water is connected to abundance and water in scripture means men too are we together it is not just about physical water water is also prophetic and symbolic of men it says let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that had life the fowl that it may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven 21 let's read together one to read and god created the great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly. Hold on. We are going to declare the prayer of abundance. Waters here does not mean going to do enchantment with water. Water here means men. Are we together? Water. Prophetic. That means everybody's abundance is in the hands of men. And the Bible says God can issue a command and those men can release it abundantly. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare the abundance assigned for my life, for my assignment through the ministry of men. I declare, let it be released unto me. Go ahead and pray. Let the waters bring forth abundantly. Someone pray, someone pray.
let the waters bring forth abundantly Hallelujah. Psalm 79 verse 11. Psalm 79 verse 11. Let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee. According to the greatness of thy power, preserve thou those that are appointed to die. Death it's an appointment I can reject an appointment that you give me we can fix an appointment for 12 and I can choose to reject it is that true please look up for there to be an appointment it means there must be some sort of consent even if not mutual there has to be an awareness okay you go to apply for a visa you expect an appointment there is an understanding between you and the, the the consular officers that there is an appointment so when the bible talks about an appointment it means someone represented you for that appointment to be fixed even if you are not there like a man can go to get an appointment for all his children and they just know that your appointment is on the 25th so when the Bible says there are people appointed to die it may be that they through ignorance have signed in for that appointment or someone before them already made the appointment in the name of Jesus Christ every appointment whether by covenant whether by ignorance all by disobedience with the spirit of death i decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant help them please let it be cancelled now open your mouth and pray by the greatness of your power preserve those who have been appointed to die someone pray by the blood of the eternal covenant hallelujah in the name of Jesus we have one last prayer please look up and this prophetic prayer is dedicated to Nigeria listen carefully you see this onslaught of terrorism and the rest go and read the book of Esther you will find out that Haman and the plotters of evil they consulted by divination and they were given a date when they will attack I can tell you this for sure no terrorist attacks at will no they consult with the constellations and they make incantations until the heaven gives them a go that's why it looks like it is effortless regardless army regardless whatever I say it with all due respect to all the forces who are doing their best but there has to be a spiritual advantage can I tell you the truth if you approach spiritual things just with your head knowledge or with strength you will be a victim of several casualties it is not like Satan and terrorists are so powerful their advantage is not in their physical armory I tell you this 
their advantage is that they have mastered through divination the art of manipulating the realm of the spirit and it is good for us to pray but for god's sake prayer in ignorance is the same thing as not praying hallelujah so they set a date and even though her man was dead the decree of the date for destruction still continued it took another decree to change it the bible says where the word of a king is it says there is power he said declare ye that thou mightest be justified if you refuse to plant in a farm something will still grow the name is weed in elementary science or agriculture they define wheat as weed as unwanted are we together unwanted plants while men slept hear me we are going to make decrees every element of the supernatural that has been manipulated to work supporting evil and death and bloodshed in this nation in this city and around please don't say it does not concern you don't make the mistake of esther when her man was plotting evil esther was enjoying the delicacy of the palace and mordecai sent a warning he said do not think if you are silent that when they are done with us you will be spared for you do not know whether it is for such a time as this everyone who has been kidnapped even those killed they were sincere people who got up in the morning just like you don't forget that you have not you have not stopped moving you too move out in the morning and in the night so don't say it does not matter shout this from the depth of your heart say in the name of jesus, name of jesus. I, take I take my place as one who has authority and i decree and declare the spirit of bloodshed the spirit of terrorism the spirit of oppression around our land the spiritual power that supports you we break it right now go ahead and pray the covenants that support you be broken the altars that support you be broken the enchantments that support you be broken the priesthood that supports you be broken we prophesy to the north we prophesy to the south we prophesy to the east we prophesy to the west in the name of jesus we declare the ministry of angels may they excel in strength by the word of the lord we declare this by the decree of the watchers in the name of jesus christ there is no rest and no peace for evil hallelujah hallelujah let me just add this one last one you are going to declare prophetically safety and preservation over everyone who is connected to you listen listen you have to reject bad news between now and december you, you, your your destiny is not ready for some kind of news that would depress you and waste your time it is within your power yours is to stand in your position with your delegated authority and with understanding and to make decrees are we together you are going to mention the name of everyone including yourself and declare the bible says the name of the lord is not only a weapon of victory it is a strong tower the righteous can enter and they are saved begin to mention the name of your loved ones your spouse your children your parents lord we declare covering prophetic covering they are exempted from the arrows that fly by day exempted from the noisome pestilence
the destruction that wastes in noonday a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side none shall harm you with your eyes will you see and the reward of the wicked hallelujah let me make one decree over your life and we're done revelations 3 and verse 8 revelations 3 and verse 8 let's start from 7 and 8 revelations 3 to the angel of the church in philadelphia write these things saith he that is holy he that is true and hath the key of david he that openeth and no man did you see that so who are those that shot who are those that shot and who are those that open he had the key of david he opened it that means if you don't have the key of david you can open a door that a man can shut you can shut a door that the man can open but it says he that had the key of david and by the mystery of the key of david that a door can be opened that no man can shut and shut and no man can open verse 8 it says i know thy works behold i who has the key of david i have opened before thee it says i have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it because i acknowledge that you have little strength yet with your little strength you have kept my word and you have not denied my name i stand in partnership with the holy spirit and according to revelation chapter 3 from verse 7 and 8 i decree and declare upon you that door that has been set may it be open and remain open Doors of favor be open and remain open. Doors of lifting be open and remain open. Doors of restoration be open and remain open. Doors of opportunity be open and remain open. Doors of speed be open and remain open. Hear me? I release this prophetic word let it follow you like your shadow that any human vessel in partnership with any spirit that wants to shut this door may this prophetic word judge them I say it again any human being that wants to shut the door that the hold of the key of David has opened Makesh Kalibarata Siata. May this prophetic word judge them. Some of you, by reason of these open doors, things that have been hanging that you have just been seeing but will never come to your hand. In the name of Jesus, let it enter your hand finally. For in Jesus' name we pray. I am certain that the sermons you've embraced have been a wellspring of blessings, lifting your life and igniting a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God. We extend a heartfelt invitation for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ensuring you remain connected and never miss any upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription transcends a mere click. It symbolizes a dedication to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled odyssey with us as our channel strives to become a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and steadfast believers. 
we staunchly believe in the transformative prowess of God's Word, and our objective is to disseminate messages that deeply resonate with the essence of your soul. Become a part of our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom, your presence is integral to this uplifting journey, and may the abundant blessings of God overflow in every facet of your life. Amen. Stay connected with us across all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel, and explore more on our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Gratitude fills our hearts, and may God's abundant blessings continue to grace your life abundantly.